Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 54th episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, I'm going to be answering a question that we kind of got. And I thought it was a pretty cool topic to discuss because um, not a lot of people really understand uh, this part. So, I'll just yes. Yeah, so, all right, whatever. So, my dude, Player X, he asked the question. And um, he's, it's a quick beginner question. And um, essentially, here it is. Don't I need a, a full Bitcoin uh, core node and one of the Lightning nodes in order to mine? Uh, I might be mixing up Lightning with uh, Bitcoin Core. Do pools do the nodes jobs and all I have to do is use the URL? Uh, the CK Solo pool page says we cannot solo, mi- solo mine to a Bitcoin Core node. That's kind of confusing. I don't understand why. And of course, there are simpler... And of course, simpler to just use an URL, but maybe there are advantages in real solo mining. Uh, but he's planning to start on CK Solo Pool first. So, and thank you for the comment. Um, so, just to explain this a little bit, the thing uh, you need to understand, kind of like the state of Bitcoin mining right now. Um, first things first, you are kind of confusing um, Bitcoin Core and Lightning. In order, mining has nothing to do with lightning, at least not right now. Um, like, I think someone has proposed, like, some sort of lightning mining thing, but that's, like, nowhere near uh, where it's wor- even worth talking about. Uh, and you don't, and so it's, like, you don't even need to worry about the, like, LNDC lightning thing in terms of mining, at least f- for the purposes of this video. Uh, from what I, how I understand the technology. <laughs> Um, so first things first, you don't most, most, for most people, it's a terrible idea to mine with your own node. And, um, you would think like, I feel like that's super counterintuitive because most people would think it's like, Hey, but I'm doing my, my part to help decentralize the network. Um, you know, if I'm running my own node and mining my own block and verifying my own block and processing my own transactions, isn't that better than handing that off to a pool provider? And I agree with you, but. The thing is, it's like the difficulty, the the mining difficulty is so high and it's so competitive that like if you if you probably let's say you're mining on your own local node and it's actually possible to do, but no one recommends it. The, the what's most likely going to happen is that you're going to find a block, a valid block or a valid hash. And then someone else in some other part of the world with better, faster Internet than you. Uh, and is connected to more nodes, they're probably going to find the, that block uh, or another valid hash to solve that block and it's going to get propagated onto the network faster than yours. Um, so essentially, you will have co- accomplished the extremely rare once-in-a-lifetime task of finding a solo block and then not getting paid for it because it's probably going to get stranded. And... Um, pools what they do is it's just like you have to think about it it's, it's like really like every millisecond in this system counts because for, for within that 10 minute period think about it like this this is how secure the bitcoin network really is it's like if you have six and a quarter bitcoin literally every single fucking miner in the entire world is combining all of their computer power just for a chance to get what you have with your six and a quarter Bitcoin. That's kind of fucking wild. Like everyone in the entire world that has ever, that's currently mining Bitcoin, every single facility, like for the, for that 10 minute period, they're trying to get essentially what you have with those 6.25 Bitcoins. Um, and where I was going with that is that <clears throat> it's just, um, it really shows like how competitive it is because sometimes when you think about mining you, re- you really don't think that it's everyone in the world but you really are competing against ant pool you're ke- competing against f2 pool you're competing against slush pool um and uh, you're competing against a, a couple of uh, random unknown miners and all of these miners they make sure that they are connected they, that they have super duper fast internet connections with redundancy uh, with different, uh, you know, it's just, it's like some some complicated ass shit. They, they try to make sure that, like, if they find a valid hash, that that valid hash is, you know, like, it, it's, uh, it's going to get added. 
Um, Because the thing is, it's like what people don't sometimes don't understand about mining is that all it is is guessing a number between uh, the between zero and one. And everyone is just making like like trillions or, or quadrillions of guesses per second. So just because you find a value and, and there's nothing that limits um, that hash from being able to add that block. There are technically uh, multiple hashes that can add uh, another another block to the chain. But what prevents that from happening in the future is it, it's like even though like one block might have a, a valid hash, that doesn't necessarily mean that someone mining in another 10 minute period can then solve your block because it just doesn't work that way. Um, so yeah, it's a, unless you have a super duper fast computer with internet that's like you're 110% sure is going to be like connected to the the um, you know like the fastest nodes then you know most people are just going to be better off mining with a pool and uh it does it does uh it is an asterisk on decentralization i don't know but the thing is like pools are really easy to like launch you know i i think you see like this thing with like laurentia pool too um you know People would just have to get used to uh, different block find cadences. And that's actually one of the reasons why I like the fucking future bit in the Apollo rigs. Because, like, like I said, like something small like that, it gives you a lot more more room to be, at, be able to actually counter one of those kind of attacks. Because you don't have the fucking ridiculous overhead that a lot of the industrial miners have. So you can go, like fucking months without getting a single payout but a big miner can't all right anyway this video is uh getting kind of long thanks for tuning in uh this is jtox crypto and i'm signing off